arises what's arising hope you guys are having a wonderful day today today as you can tell by the title i want to give you guys a full in detail about invisalign as you guys know i have been through my teeth journey for quite some time now pretty much all throughout 2020 not only that it all started i want to say a couple of years ago i got all four of my wisdom teeth pulled out i feel like it's been a couple of years now and i know you guys are probably like flabbergasted like <gasps> What? Yes, you guys, I was doped up for quite some time. <laughs> I'm not gonna even hold you, I'm not kidding. I went to work on pills, like I'm not, I'm, yes, yes, it was serious. But I'm glad that I got that over and done with. Was getting ready to have my teeth to make space in my mouth because my teeth are crowded and I have an overbite. You guys, if you've been watching my videos, you've heard me say my teeth are doing Mortal Kombat underneath my gums down here. Like, <laughs> What I decided to do, instead of going with braces, I went with Invisalign. I've done a video going to Invisalign before, I've done a couple of vlogs here and there. And so today, if you guys were wondering exactly how do they do this, what procedures, what steps do they take, what all do you have to go through, they allowed me to vlog my whole process. So I'm coming to you today to reveal all of this to you to see if it's something that you will want to do. As of right now, I am on week four four i am wearing them right now after you guys see this whole thing this whole process of what happens before you get the actual invisalign while all is going to be done to your teeth and then the invisalign trays you don't just get the trays they have to prepare your teeth and i'm going to go through that with you with a voiceover with this video today now before we get this video started i do want to say i will give my overall experience on how it's going so far and you know just what i've went through and just what i think about it right now i will be basing this off of my experience alone and no one else's now if you guys don't mind please make sure that you click that subscribe button to become a part of the ariser family don't forget to click this like button if you feel like this was pretty good detailed video that entailed everything that you wanted to know and also guys please don't forget to comment below so i can know your comments of what you thought and you know just see where your mind is if you want straighter teeth what are your methods that you want to go through do you want to get braces do you feel like i've seen this video oh you know i think i go to invisalign you know what i mean you guys let me know in the comment section below now without further ado let's get into this video All right, so here are your aligners. You said we need to place attachments? Yeah. And it's 16, right? You can move it, okay? okay. Feel free. <laughs> you know, it's weird. So as you guys can see, he just finished putting the mouth guard in just to give him a clean open space without any interruption of my jaws or lips or anything. Right now, he's applying a blue paste that's going to kind of solidify just a little bit and he's just putting it on the particular teeth that's going to need the attachments on there. So this is pretty much just the first of the preparation. So now this tool, he's it's a sucker, so he's sucking up the remains of that blue paste. As you can see how easy that's going in. Yeah, of course I have to make some kind of face and be silly. <laughs> Here he's just pretty much using dry cotton swab to just go over the teeth with the rest of that residue. Just in case something wanted to linger. So he just put that there to make sure that all the saliva and everything will go in that tube so it won't build up in a pocket. Here he's placing little chewies, cotton chewies, to give him ample space in my mouth. As you can see, he has a lot more space. He put the one in the front. I was like, oh my gosh. And then he put another one in the side. I was like, oh, you need all this? My mouth felt so exposed. So here with this tool, he's just pretty much just giving a little dry. And this next tool here, with this little green stick thing, it's a little solution that he's wiping certain teeth with, the ones he's gonna put attachment on, of course. This solution here and the blue paste is really not the best tasting stuff. I'm not gonna even lie to you. 
This blue light pretty much just solidifies what he used. This tray here is not one of my attachments. It's pretty much like an outline tray. It does go to my teeth, but it's not actually the first attachment that I'm wearing. But he's preparing this tray to get aligned with what's going to be on my teeth as far as the attachments goes. That tray pretty much just gives the indication of the paste that is going to be used as your buttons or attachments. Oh my gosh, he was pressing this thing on my teeth. Yikes. But it didn't hurt, just wanna let you guys know that. But you definitely felt the pressure. So once again, this blue light just solidifies what he used. Oh my gosh, I look so crazy, you guys. Then he goes to the upper area, pretty much the same thing. The reason he uses this orange shield is because they really can't look at that light. It's very harmful to the eyes. Nice doing the same thing with the top row, giving that outline in the tray. So preparing that paste in the tray that is used for the attachments on your teeth. As you can see here, he is really having to pull this tray off of my teeth because that blue light solidified the paste on each tooth. It was crazy with him pulling this thing off. I was like, oh my gosh. It doesn't hurt you guys, but like I said, you will just feel the pressure of it. That's pretty much it. Yes, your lips will be dry as crap. Just wanna let you guys know. I know this looks so bad. Oh my gosh, you know, metal grind and get your teeth is not the best feeling. Oh, that is very different. Uh, no, but they help to move your teeth. Yeah. Faster in a better way. I feel like I'm morphing from the like, vampire and monster mixed together. <laughs> I can feel it on my mouth and my lips and gums. <laughs> Let me grab you a paper back for this. See guys, can you see it? See like the little buttons that's on my teeth right now? There's one. There's another one. There's another one right here. You can see this one right here. It's sticking out. Stand down here. I gotta get used to talking with these things now. Yeah. But like you can yeah, you can feel the <laughs> I know, it's gonna be weird the first couple of days. And these buttons are gonna stay on throughout the whole seventeen weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at the end we are remove them. Okay. Guys, I am so freaking tired of these freaking bumps. I don't know what to do. I gotta get on the skincare, you guys. I can't keep doing this. Now I'm just waiting on the lady to come in and we're supposed to be doing this flossing procedure between my teeth. And I guess what it is, which is what they explained to me over the phone, it makes your teeth to have more space to move around, to straighten whenever you have on the trays. I don't like the way I'm talking right now. This is, my gosh. So you guys, I just took my trays out of the pack and this is pretty much how they look. So I'm actually gonna try these on before the lady gets here. Oh my gosh.
I'm really gonna have to get used to taking these bottoms out because over when I first put them on, the constriction that it gives is crazy. Is this metal? Yep. Oh it's like God. it's like metal slash sandpaper. It's oh. the best combination. <laughs> So you're gonna come back in eight weeks and we're gonna have to do this again, okay? Ah. I am wearing them right now and I'll be wearing this from here on out starting today. Oh, I already feel myself talking funny. Let me just show you guys really quick with them on. These are all of my trays. I'm gonna put my bag to take to the house, you guys. And I have these for 17 weeks. So there it is. That's it. You have pretty much seen when I came in step by step to the very end of me getting my bag of what you will endure. What would be the steps that you would have to go through. I am still talking slightly funny, but I am doing so much better than when I first started. <laughs> You guys if you've been watching my videos especially through vlogmas you know what i'm talking about now to get into my perspective my journey of what all i have had to go through to get where i am right now sorry you guys hearing this little scratching noise bronx is using his box right now and of course bronx has to do that because whenever i'm shooting or taking pictures or anything kind of videos trying to give content to you guys bronx wants to make his presence known oh great you have to also poop thank you thank you bronx for lighting up my nose for this video i appreciate that yeah my process with this is i shouldn't have had to go through most of the things i've went through to get this invisalign i do want to say that this procedure this this method of straightening your teeth is a, a very nice alternative uh, two braces. However, it took me literally three to four visits to get my trays. And that was pretty much the only thing that really annoyed me because I had to keep getting rescanned and rescanned and rescanned because every time I went there to get my trays, they were not fitting properly. Either the top, which was the main one that wasn't fitting properly or something that was going on with the bottom. And so it just seemed like it was the manufacturer of the, the company when they mold the Invisalign trays for your teeth. And so I literally had to go back three four times to get rescanned, and that was pretty much my only thing with this it was literally just to get the trays right to fit on my mouth and even my last time going there i didn't vlog it but even my last time going there just for my checkup when i was on week two the bottom of this tray i vlogged this part it was sticking out and it was like poking me and i sent in a picture they was just like oh my gosh yeah this definitely does not supposed to look like this and i'm just like i know <laughs> it doesn't supposed to feel like this either <laughs> so that's how come Woo! Bronx! man oh my god why why do you have to do me like this <sighs> okay wait a minute because you you stink too bad Okay, so pretty much what they told me to do is wear week three trays for two weeks. So it will cover week two and week three. And then when it comes to week four, hopefully they will fit fine. Hopefully there won't be any more discrepancies or any kind of technical issues going on with the trays. I'll be back on track. Thankfully week four fits fine because I'm wearing them right now. Also, just in case you guys do not know the way that this Invisalign process works, they work by prediction. And what I mean is when they scan your teeth, right? And I vlogged all of that. You guys can go back and look at that video whenever they scan your teeth they predict what you want your teeth to do so whatever you want to correct they're going to mold that prediction step by step in tray by tray and so that's how your teeth shift and that's how it moves each time you put a new tray in you will feel the constriction of your teeth and that's how you know that it's working because you will feel certain sensitive areas in your teeth like my bottom area here let me get up close to you guys to see you see how these are in the front these are going to be 
be a little bit more difficult to move, which brings them to be the most sensitive areas whenever they are shifting. It is better than braces because you have to go back and get tightened and tightened and tightened and everything. So you literally would just feel that sensitivity and that constriction, maybe like the first day or two and then you know it's over with pretty much. And of course you will feel that same tightness whenever you put on a new tray because it's fresh, it's getting ready to shift again, but it won't be as bad as when you first try them on for the very first time. Like I said, I'm at week four. This is my update to you guys. And I also wanted to just show you guys the detailed process of how this will go for you. This may not go for everyone. Everyone may not need attachments. Also, everyone may not need the flossing procedure. Also, I will have to go back in eight weeks to get a refloss because my teeth would have been shifted by that time. So actually now it'll be four more weeks I have to go back. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. So honestly, overall, besides the fact that I had to go and get rescanned like three to four times, and I told them even when week two was going on, I was like, listen, if I have to get rescanned one more time, I'm just gonna say forget it and I wanna refund. Like I'm just gonna drop this because apparently something in the universe is telling me that I need to do this. But I do really like this method, so I do wanna say that I do recommend Invisalign so far. In all, I have 17 weeks, so I have 17 trays. So I will give you guys another update around towards the end of that time, just to keep you guys abreast and to see how it goes. So this is pretty much has been your update video as far as my Invisalign goes and my teeth journey. Hopefully this will come out well. They also compensated me for <laughs> <laughs> for all of the rescans with whitening. So I do appreciate that because I definitely was thinking about doing that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a lot out of it. Once again, please let me know your thoughts and you know, comment below about what you think. What direction do you want to go with your teeth? Have you done your teeth journey already? What did you do? Because I would definitely like to know that. But I love you guys so much and thank you for clicking on this video and clicking on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Peace. Fit me like a puzzle piece Be the jig to my saw Be the inhale to my ex Breathe out while I breathe in Be the fit to my diamond